bad. I yeah. think I think Kazuya wins because he beats a lot of sorties, but I don't think it's that bad. But we're going to help her on the other side in a matchup that is much better for Roy in the Sora and Roy matchup. Helper on the other side of the stage. Yep, Helper coming pretty hot off a win in the uh, Xeno Arcadian, actually. This is true. So, yeah, Helper absolutely been on the come up, especially after picking up the Sora. He's really been figuring this character out as of late. And we can already see the work paying off. Already 87% on Dar unanswered. All right, finally, though, Dar getting to play the game. Putting Helper off stage though, where he is not uncomfortable in the slightest. Not at all. I think this matchup really comes down to tempo and controlling that uh, that pacing. Mm -hmm. Because Sora does an excellent job at slowing the pace of the game down with things like this. <laughs> and uh, Roy can do an excellent job of speeding that up, forcing burst reactions and uh, instant decision making. What a catch with the Thundaga, just barely catching Dar reaching for that uh, ledge. Wow, the swing on there as well. And Dar just throwing it out, expecting to jump out of shield. But you always have to prep for the drop from ledge. Plenty of options there from uh, from Sora. Helper not able to collect the combos. But Helper naturally oh, no. plays a lot more of this. A lot more advantage state Sora. Those Twitter combos are nice. But also you can get like Nair 1-2 up to up air. Do 34. And... And then just let it rock. Let your juggle game happen. Let uh, get a lot of reversal damage with the ledge play like this. Roy has to commit pretty hard in order to try and snap you on ledge like that. Helper overshooting a little bit with that Blizzaga, getting appropriately punished. But Dar needs to find that uh, find that spark if he's gonna try and make this back. Absolutely, Helper is definitely the type of player to let you dig your own grave and then such a good just way to put it. <laughs> and then just <laughs> laugh at you from the ledge while you do so. I'm stealing that. That's a <laughs> it's an excellent way to try and to quantify just how good at slowing the game down that Sora is and that Helper is specifically. Just like, hey, overcommit, fall into my traps, come off stage with me, play my game. Yeah, especially oh, as nice. Roy, a fast faller. <laughs> Definitely just, hey, come off stage, smile. Yeah, It'll be it, fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong. And even right there, Dark getting the down tilt, but not trying to commit for a, a tech chase or anything. Just letting, trying to reset the situation and really pick out uh, the, those meaningful neutral wins. Gets the parry, but not able to find anything out of it. That shield's getting real low, though. Gets the up tilt afterwards. Chase with the up air? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yep, I'm just waiting for Dark to come down swinging with the down air. Yeah, you kind of had two options there, and actually both of them would have worked because Dar decided to come down aggressively, where it's like, I'm going to wait for you to do something and then up air you for it, or I'm going to be preemptive with my up air and attack. But, mm -hmm. like, at this position, like, this is everything for Sora. Look at him doing the splits there. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> the, uh, but the point is, in this position, because Sora's up air hits this, this amazingly huge and deep mm -hmm. arc, maybe not exactly that long, but he can play this perfect juggling advantage state against characters that are a little bit harder to fully combo. And Sora has excellent combos on fast fallers, but you need to integrate your IDJ stuff in order to do so. But sometimes you just get this excellent juggle game and you, and you get the kill off the top. Exactly. All right, Dar putting the helper off stage right now, but yeah, Helper, not uncomfortable at all. Just gets to side B to the other side. Is able to shield Dar swinging out of disadvantage again, but not quite able to find the punish off of it. Yeah. How do you feel about going back to Smashville here, Force? Because the, the, I can see the benefits and detriments, but I want to hear your opinion. Honestly, it, it feels... It, it's definitely an interesting pick. I, it feels like Dar wants to, you know, be the change that he wants to see in the world. A, so much of this game, uh, of the game one, was played at the ledge because that's just, you know, kind of how Helper likes to play. The central platform really didn't do much for Dar in game one, and so I don't know if we're going to see it do much for him in game two either. Oh, we could have seen it there, given the platform tech chase, but the aerial sweep out of shield, uh, intercepting on the platform, unable to get the counter attack off ledge, though. And 
Elper just playing such a perfect, playing under this platform a little bit more, dragging Dar into a completely different shift, where now, instead of being ledge trapped and finding reversals, he's a ledge trapped in and going deep off stage for that. Fair one, two, three, and plenty of space to make it back. Yeah, and you know, even talking before about how Helper really likes to play this advantage Sora, the central platform of Smashville or Hollow Bastion just offers so much protection for Sora, especially when he wants to start throwing out all of these spells, throwing out the Faragas, the Thundagas, and it really limits the angles in which Dar can come in. Yeah. And so it just comes back down to Helper being able to set the pace of the match. Especially given how Dar has basically been recovering at that angle every single time. Uh, Helper can Helper can very, very uh, applicably counterattack that with things like Thundaga, uh, the offstage counterattack, and baits out a shield into that instant up smash. A massive, massive button. That's Look at 25. He needs it. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> Oh, he tried it. Okay, I respect that helper trying to go for that. In though the instant double jump combos that are so cool, but are also extremely hard. <laughs> Still, we've seen, we can see the power of Rage Sword come online here. Uh, things like uh, the different hits of Neutral Air scale very well with Rage, and it can open up a, a wide variety of routes. Uh, so dubbed the Ars Arcanum by the community, <laughs> which is which is nice. I think it's fitting. Yeah. <laughs> Helper. Helper back to playing at the ledge, just daring Dar to come in, and Dar not able to find anything off of just running into the shield there. Kind of waited for Helper to throw out an option, and now back, once again back to this juggle game, and Helper potentially looking at a three stock here at game two. So dig your own grave was what you were saying, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're getting a real up and close look at that of just, hey, I've got, I've got thunder. Do you know about the spacing so which you can run through that? Are you confident enough to do so? Blizzard and it's amazing to cover space. Fire, Fireaga, same thing, but you can combo off of it. Excellent little empty jump there though, and Dar needs to get quite a bit out of. Whatever this situation is, can you even call it advantage? <laughs> <laughs> and it, even right there, Helper faded right just a little bit to make Dar uncomfortable as to which side of the ledge Helper was going to. And Helper just with a quick little like, eh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I, got a, I got a little combo and it killed. Yeah, never one two up there. It's the classic. It's the it's the most bread and one of the more bread and butter things that Sora can do. If Helper was really cool, he could have done Nair one to up at that percent. Mm -hmm. uh, he isn't. But he isn't. <laughs> 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 uh, still, very excellently played. In a matchup that I would honestly consider Roy winning if you know how to play it right. And it looked like Dar was kind of trying to figure things out on the fly. But... <laughs> When you're doing that and you can kind of fall your, you can fall into Sora's just really easy traps when it comes to not necessarily damage, but positioning and tempo mm -hmm. and control, especially on a stage like Smashville, which traditionally great for Fire Emblem characters, but Sora's innate juggle game and the smallness of that stage let Sora go underneath back and forth so easily. It can really bring that pace, wrestle it away from the rushdown and into Sora's uh, very, very cartoonishly large hands. <laughs>